Hey guys, it's Bank for about PC Gamer here. I didn't expect to be making this video, but I think it's important that I address a few things. So I did make a video previously comparing my GTX 1080 to the released AMD Vega early footage in Doom at 4K using the Ultra preset and Vulcan. Now, I was concerned about the Vulcan um, performance because we all know AMD excels in Vulcan and it also has support from asynchronous compute in Doom as well. So basically that is pretty much the most ideal situation AMD could show off their new hardware. And because of the performance figures, I was pretty familiar with them. I thought I'd compare it with my GTX 1080 and see how it does. And they're pretty much neck and neck, or even in some cases, the GTX 1080 outpacing it. So this has upset a few people. You know, I've had people saying, why am I comparing an engineering sample, early drivers, whatever you want to call it, you name it. So this is what it is. This is my reasoning. AMD have released this performance on their official page. This isn't a leak. They've, they've released this to the public so it's going to be judged it's going to be scrutinized and i've only compared the data that's available nothing more than that i'm not comparing what vega might possibly be once it's a finished article i can only compare the data that we have available so when when it does finish i'll be more than happy to make some more comparisons so anyway in light of that i wanted to, i made it quite clear that uh, nvidia geforce Shadow Play from GeForce Experience does have quite a performance hit once rec while recording at 4K 60 FPS at 100 megabytes per second quality, and um, which is obviously another reason why I said um, Nvidia GTX 1080 performs very very well at 4K. So um, Vega is really not showing us anything we haven't seen before. So what I'm going to do today is do a comparison again with a way of trying to minimize the performance hit from recording as best as I can. So I want to be as transparent as I can. These are the settings I'm using for my overclock. 250 megahertz on the core, 495 megahertz on the memory. This gives me around 2.025 megahertz, um, gigahertz as a core, um, core clock speed. So I'm using the Intel i7-5960X at 4.5 gigahertz. And some of you may not know, but in that AMD demo that I'm going to be comparing it with, they actually used an Intel i7-4790K. Um, you can see this at the end of the video. It's clear for everyone to see. This is not something that can be disputed, so I just want to put that out there. And we all know the 4790K ships at 4.4 gigahertz out of the box. So now that's, that's out of the way, let's quickly show you. I am using a 4K native screen. So I just want to quickly show you my settings. This is the native resolution, no DSR or anything like that going on here. I'm also going to show you my settings for um, NVIDIA Shadow Play. I have to use a screenshot because you can't show while recording. So as you can see, I'm using 1080p resolution locked and 50 megabytes per second as the bitrate. So this should um, quite perform as best as possible and still give enough clarity to see the, all the information that's on the screen. I know this is a lot, bit long winded but I just have to address these issues so what I'm going to do now is load up Doom and I'm going to go through the settings again that I'm using. Okay so Doom's finally loaded up. I'm going to quickly go through the settings first for whatever reason you have to go to campaign to adjust settings which is a bit strange so 3840 by 2160 native resolution anti-aliasing method is TSSAA at 8 times which was used in the demo as well my field of view is 110 possibly a bit higher than what they were using but you know I don't know exactly what they use so I can't comment more than likely it was default so going to the advanced tab you can see I've got the Vulcan API active and the quality preset is ultra. I haven't made any adjustments. When you do, this will turn from ultra to custom. And I've mirrored the settings as best as possible when it comes to the demo that was released by AMD's representative Gilbert. So, let's jump into it. Going to the arcade level, which they used, which is this one. And let's just see 
how the GTX 1080 does. I'm going to try and play as action packed as possible and try and mimic even some of the movements that they were doing in that demo. So you guys can draw your own conclusion. As you can see right now, between 83 and 80 frames per second. So my main issue was when I first saw the Vega gameplay was it was doing performance numbers that I'm used to seeing as you can see I'm hitting 80 to 90 frames per second with a single GTX 1080. Obviously Vulcan's not optimized for multi GPU at this time so no chance of multi GPU um, scaling or anything like that. So you know the GTX 1080 having no problems keeping over 60 FPS with Vulcan, which is why I have to show a bit of concern of Vega's current state. It's not exactly doing anything we haven't seen before. Those are the facts, and you know a lot of people got upset by that. There's no agenda here. I literally call it as I see it. You know, this is the performance that's available for me to compare with, and I'm going to compare it. Now AMD have released this, this isn't like a leak from some unknown source, they've detailed settings, they detailed hardware that was used, you know, and I'm calling, I'm doing a straight down the middle comparison, so I'm not too sure why people are getting upset. Anyway, I'll go and get these, there were some animations that take a bit more performance than others, for example that animation where you split the demon's head in, in half. So I'm going to try and recreate that situation if possible and see what kind of performance hit I get when doing so. Well, some animations are a bit more demanding than others. As you can see when Vega did a similar animation it dropped down to 45 frames per second which is quite a big um, dip but at the end of the day drivers are unoptimized at this time so I'm sure they'll smooth it out in the future. They did say the drivers was an in-house build, they gave the driver number as well, so if anyone's curious about what drivers they're using, they also detail that as well. So, as you can see, just GTX 1080 4K, owning, owning do, not a problem. Man, this looks tough. When these kind of animations come up, you can see the GTX 1080 is dropping to around 52 to 54 frames per second, but it's not dropping to 45, so that was a great job. 4K is not a problem, as you can see. Anyway, I think this pretty much sums up um, the comparison now. There's nothing more I can really do. I've killed so many monsters. I've been playing for three minutes now, so I think I'll call it call it down now. Um, so yeah, that's GTX 1080 performance in Doom, Vulcan, same settings. Call it what you will. My name's Gilbert. I'm a technical marketing specialist at AMD, which means I get to show off cool demos. And today's cool demo is the flagship Vega running at Doom at the ultra image quality preset. I'm doing above 60 FPS right over here, and I'm getting some totally smooth gameplay. I can make all the headshots I need to make, but I just love doing Berserker mode. Ooh, all this and more with Vega coming soon.